Hey guys, I know a couple of people had some questions about interactions or we're looking for tips for interactions. Um, so I kind of, here's what I have for you. What should I know? You should know the common interactions in diagnostic radiology. You need to know which interactions happen up in the x-ray tube and which interactions occur at the patient. Um, if you were given an image in front of you, could you pick out if it was Bremsstrahlung or could you pick out if it's Compton? Would you be able to kind of decipher whether it's an interaction that happens in the tube or if it's happening at the patient? Um, or even if it's a video, if you're, a video comes up on your screen and it shows the process of the interaction, could you choose which one it is? Some tips are knowing if the interaction is starting with an electron and resulting in a photon, or is it an interaction that's starting with a photon? Does it involve the nucleus um, or does it involve the K-shell? And then we'll go over some key words to try and help you with like the word questions, stuff like that. Okay, so I'm going to introduce you to my two friends, right? Um, this is Edward Electron and Paul Photon. <laughs> Don't tease me about this. All right. Edward Electron, he lives life on the straight and narrow. He is a negative Nelly. Yeah, he's negatively charged, right? Paula Photon, she likes to ride the waves. She likes to be around people. Trying to figure out if the interaction is starting with an electron or starting with a photon, it's fairly easy. It's either going to start with something traveling in a straight line or it's going to start with something traveling in this wavy line. This is also called a sine wave. So I know a couple of people were unsure um, about this terminology. So straight line is going to be your Edward electron, your Edward electron. He lives life on the straight and narrow. Paula Photon, she likes to ride the waves. Okay, your photon goes towards the patient. Try and remember that. So we're going to use those tricks to figure out if it's a target interaction. And I, when I say target, I think in the tube at the anode, the anode's my target. Um, or is it happening at the patient? Here's one, some of my tricks. So if we look at this first image here, is it starting with an electron? How do you know it's an electron? The um, electron is coming in here because it's coming in as a straight line. The straight line is traveling towards the nucleus. This is your positively charged nucleus. It's breaking, slowing down, and it's resulting in a photon. Remember Paula Photon? She surfs the waves. She goes towards the patient. I know that this interaction is a tube interaction. And if you can separate the two interactions that happen at the tube, and kind of the two most important ones that happen at the patient, so Bremsstrahlung and characteristic radiation, they happen at the tube. So I have to look at this picture and say, okay, this is either Bremsstrahlung or it's characteristic. And we'll go over some tips on how to do that. On this picture on the right, is it coming in as a straight line or a wave? Well, here's Paula Photon. She's riding the waves. She's going towards the patient. I know this interaction is not a tube interaction because it's starting as a photon. So it's either going to be Compton scatter or it's going to be um, photoelectric. All right, and we'll go over those. All right, so for x-ray production, meaning produced in the tube, you're going to have Bremsstrahlung and you're going to have characteristic. They are both, both pictures, if you look, are electrons coming in. They're coming in as straight lines toward the nucleus. Here, for Bremsstrahlung, you're getting a resulting photon. So, keywords for Bremsstrahlung. Bremsstrahlung, on your note card, put electron in. Breaking radiation, so if you get um, a question about breaking um, and it or it loses energy something like that that's me this one it produces 90% of all x-ray production 
The incident electron breaks before the nucleus bends direction. The closer to the nucleus, the harder the break, the higher the energy of the photon. I think the Bremsstrahlung interaction looks like a boomerang. Okay, the shape of it kind of looks like a boomerang, if that helps you. All right. Characteristic, again, is electron in. So the X-ray production interactions, you've got two. Characteristic Bremsstrahlung, they're both both pictures are going to look like a straight line coming in first. So straight line is your Edward electron, straight and narrow, okay? Characteristic has some terminology to it too. The incident electron collides with a shell electron. It crashes out of orbit. It causes a cascade of electrons to fall. Um, so sort of a domino effect. They're going to kind of move into the missing spaces, okay? If you see cascade sign that's attached to characteristic also if you see this number 69.5 or 70 kv kev that is going to be characteristic so put that in your keyword all right so let's start with this picture here looking at this picture quickly is it a tube interaction or is it a interaction at the patient how do I know? Well, does it start with a straight line coming in? Coming in? And a photon coming out? Yes, yes it does. Where is it traveling through? It's traveling close to the nucleus, Megan. Is it bending? Yes it is. Does it look like a boomerang shape? Well, this is Bremsstrahlung, all right? What if you were shown different pictures? What if this is the picture that you saw? Okay, here we go. Electron coming in. Because remember, Edward Electron, he's a negative Nelly. All right, but he's a straight line. So he comes in towards the nucleus and gets rejected. And out he goes. But at this point, he made a photon. There goes Paula Photon. She's going out to the patient. If you're shown a picture with numbers, this will also help you. So it started at 90 keV. It went through the nucleus, broke right there, and a bend. Oh, Lost all his energy here. Now he's down to zero. But this photon is going out towards the patient. So this is Bremsstrahlung too. Next one. All right, here's your series of pictures. You have your atom here. Here comes in a straight line. Tube, interaction, or patient? You're going to say patient, right? Straight line is electron. Coming in. It hits this inner shell electron. Knocks it out of orbit. Here we go. Knocks him out. Then one of this outer shell shifts into place, which causes then production of a photon. There's some binding shells here. See the 69.5 keV? That should tell you right there, characteristic. What if you're shown this picture? This is giving you an electron in to the inner shell here. And then it's showing you with arrows that they're then going to shift each other. So this one's going to move in, move in, move in, move in, move in. All right. The characteristic photons are produced at that point. Uh, what about x-ray spectrum? If you're given this picture and asked to locate the area where characteristic radiation would happen, remember characteristic has only a small window. Okay. So this sharp point here is going to be your characteristic. Bremsstrahlung makes up 90%, right? So most of this is going to be Bremsstrahlung. So say you're asked to kind of click with your mouse onto the characteristic part of the spectrum, you would click here. All right, x-ray interactions with matter. I just think people. People matter, right? You have Compton and photoelectric. There is coherent too, but I don't worry about that one as much. Compton and photoelectric are both going to be photon in. Paula Photon, she's riding the waves. See this picture here? We got waves coming in. We don't have a straight line. So interactions with matter are going to be photon in. Compton's your most common, but it's least desirable, right? Com Do we want scatter? No, we don't really want scatter. Um, energy is partially absorbed by a loosely bound outer electron, so Compton's going to be an outer electron. It knocks that electron out of orbit, causing an ionization. 
produces a scatter photon, which is kind of a low energy wave, and then also um, produces an ejected electron. Okay, Compton is the source of the most source of occupational exposure. So us as technologists, most of my dose is from Compton scatter. Um, I think of Compton as tech, so C in Compton, C for tech, All right? Outside electron, photon, or um, photoelectric effect is also photon in. The photon energy equals the binding energy. There is total absorption of an interaction. Photons in photoelectric um, involve the inner shell is knocked out of orbit instead of Compton, which is the outer. And I think photoelectric, P for photoelectric, P for patient. All right, so this is more patient dose. All right, here you go. Series of pictures here. We have an atom. Is this interaction in the tube or at the patient? Is it a straight line or is it a wave? We've got a wave coming in. This tells me I am at the patient. I'm not in the tube. So it's either going to be Compton or photoelectric. I'm dealing with an outer shell electron. Here's my photon wave coming in, hitting my outer electron, knocking it out. It's also producing a lower energy wave here, going in a different direction. So I think scatter, scatter goes in different directions. So this is going to be your Compton scatter. Compton scatter is photon in, electron out, photon out. What if you're given this picture? It looks a little bit different. Same thing. Photon in, outer shell, one electron, one photon. Picture number two. We've got a photon coming in. It's hitting an inner shell. Okay. Ejecting it out. We only have one. What is that telling me? Is there any photons coming out? No, it was absorbed, right? So photoelectric is photon in, electron out because the photon was absorbed. So photon in, absorbed by the inner shell. You get a photoelectron here, but unlike Compton, you don't get that extra kind of photon coming out the side. Just another option for images here, kind of the same thing, all right? Coherent, coherent scatter is also, you know, possible, but it's the least likely of the interactions. And that one is going to be a photon in and photon out. It has like multiple names. Why? I don't know. Coherent, classical, unmodified, elastic, and Raleigh, I think it's spelled that way. So I don't worry about that one too much. I focus on the main four. All right, let's round it up. What are the common interactions in radiology? In diagnostic radiology, I should say. Bremschelong, characteristic, Compton scatter, and photoelectric. Where do they occur? Which ones happen at the tube? Bremschelong and characteristic. Which occur at the patient? Compton, photoelectric. If I give you a picture with no identif identification on it, could you pick it out? Cut down your choices. Which start with an electron? which start with a photon. You've got two choices for starting with electrons, two choices for Compton and photoelectric, right? Does it involve the nucleus? Does it involve a K-shell? Does it involve outer shell, inner shell? That's another way to break it down. Bremstrelong is going to be electron coming in. It's going to have a bend. It's going to go toward, close to the nucleus. Characteristic is going to be that inner shell, right, that K shell, because we want that 69.5. Photoelectric is also inner shell. Compton is going to be outer shell. What are some keywords? Keywords would be breaking, cascade effect. If the question says at the target, well, you know where the target is. The target's in the anode. Think tube. Tube target. There you go. Is it talking about the K shell? Does it say inner shell? Does it say 69.5? All right, I hope that was helpful.